I realize the subtler intricacies of my story may be lost on you, but you must understand, undoing the hardened synapses in your husband's mind is an incredibly nuanced procedure. Three years, trapped in a reality that says, I am a boat, I float, I go fast, people ride me. One wrong decision and his whole reality could collapse. You really want that kind of pressure to be put on a 10-year-old script? But if you could just read what Jenny wrote. I read it. It's cute, but it has no teeth, no concrete villain. This is Price. You know, Mrs. Alvarez, we've had years to collect data on our subjects. We wondered, why did they get stuck in a boat simulator when many others didn't? A soldier who wasn't ready to be deployed. A failed painter now driving for Uber. You see, they all had one thing in common. They chose to stay a boat. So the question you should be asking yourself, Mrs. Alvarez, isn't whether or not this story is boat-centric enough, no. After all of this effort, after we bring his story to its ultimate conclusion, after your husband finally wakes up and sees your face again for the first time in years, the question you should be asking is will he be happy to see you? believe I poured my life into a stupid story about a stupid boat! I read it. It's cute, but it has no teeth, no concrete villain. 